across vast landscapes, from the hot savannas to the gentle temperate grasslands, a continuous cycle of life is unfolding, often unseen, often underappreciated. It is a story of meticulous recycling, of critical renewal, and of an unlikely hero who defies necessity. In fact, for billions of life forms, what we perceive as waste, the dung left by grazing animals, is a treasure, a vital source of energy, and an indispensable resource. This is where our tiny protagonists emerge, approaching the bounty. They come in an astonishing variety of shapes and sizes, from minute to robust, yet all share a singular essential vocation. They are the dung beetles, the miniature cleaners, the unsung maintenance crew of our planet. There are approximately 7,000 species of dung beetles worldwide, and their tireless work can be categorized into three fundamental strategies. First, we observe the rollers, perhaps the most famous of the group. These meticulous sculptors use their hind legs to shape the manure into a near-perfect sphere, often a ball larger than their own body, and then roll it away from the intense competition and the source of its origins. Then there are the tunnelers, who employ a different yet equally effective strategy. Instead of transporting the dung across the landscape, they simply excavate and bury it directly beneath the pile, creating complex subterranean tunnels where the resource is stored. Finally, we find the dwellers, which opt for the most integrated approach, choosing to live and reproduce directly within the mass of the dung, consuming it as they inhabit it. What may seem like a mere meal to the casual observer is in reality an ecological service of incalculable worth. By rapidly removing and burying the dung, these beetles perform several crucial roles. Primarily, they act as environmental sanitizers, preventing the massive accumulation of animal waste that would otherwise become a breeding ground for unwanted pests, such as flies and parasites. More profoundly, they become essential soil fertilizers. As they bury the dung, they integrate vital nutrients directly into the subsurface, significantly enriching the soil, making it far more fertile for native plants and essential for sustaining healthy pastures. And their contribution doesn't end there. Many plant seeds are dispersed through animal consumption, and by burying the dung, the beetles inadvertently become seed dispersers allowing new plant life to germinate and flourish away from the competitive shadow of the parent plant. But dung is more than just food. It is a meticulously crafted home and a life-giving nursery. The female deposits her eggs within the prepared dung ball or tunnel, ensuring that the larvae have an abundant, immediate meal upon hatching. This brood ball is the cradle for a new generation of tireless cleaners. And how do these minute navigators find their way across vast featureless plains? Many roller species possess an astonishing navigational ability. They use the polarized light patterns of the sun or the moon to maintain a perfectly straight path. And some species are known to even use the grand arc of the Milky Way as a calesio compass, a feat of astronomical navigation in the insect world. The ecological value of their silent labor is immense. In places like Australia, dung beetles are estimated to save the livestock industry millions of dollars annually by naturally cleaning pastures, reducing contamination, and lessening the need for artificial fertilizers and pesticides. They are the quiet workers who sustain entire industries. The next time you see a simple pile of dung, remember the complex, critical ecosystem it supports. And remember its miniature architects and recyclers. The dung beetles, the small cleaners who in their discreet and tireless way are saving the planet one perfectly rolled ball at a time.